Hello everyone and welcome to another episode here of How to Build Your Character. My name is Kasanis and today we're going to be, we might be finishing up actually, there's a, a whole lot to do but I'm going to try and go through everything here to make sure you guys can get to the point where you're finished. There's a lot of cleanup to do, a lot of things we have to add, uh, but hopefully we can get them all done. So if you've been following along, you guys should be in pretty good shape. You guys should, oh, let me turn on the bones so we can see it. Where's my joints? Joints. You guys, if you followed along as we've gone, you guys should have a full IK leg system, uh, not including the wires here. I'm gonna show you how to do those today. You should have a full FK IK arm system and you should have uh, a series of blend shapes. You should have uh, all the stuff here done and all of these basic controls. Now obviously yours isn't going to look exactly like mine. I've gone through and changed my controls a little bit just so you guys can see how I've done it. Uh, I've gone through and, and changed the controls a little tiny bit so that I could uh, so that I could uh, you know identify where what everything was and it's up to you guys to create the controls the way you want to. All I did was I went into each control, I right clicked, I said control vertice, and I manipulated these points into the shapes that I wanted. You guys gotta do the same thing for your character to make it individual and easy for you to follow. Now, what we're gonna look at today, let me just go back to object mode. What we're gonna look at in this first section of the video is, is starting to clean everything up. Because if we take a look at what we got going on here, we have a lot of stuff that's kinda getting in the way, we can't actually work with it that well. So. We're going to start off by building layers, and down here in the bottom are some of the uh, where your layers are going to be. This is in the channel box and layer editor, and you're going to build layers in here. And all the layers are going to allow you to do is to isolate different parts of the figure or different parts of your scene. So let me give you an example. I'm going to select all. These are all on the top here are all my blend shapes for the head. I'm just going to select them all just like this. I am then going to go over here and you can see there's four buttons along this area here. This last one that has like a star and a, and a sphere and a little thing on top of that, that is the build new layer. Well, there if I hover over you can see create new layer and assign the objects to that layer. When I push this button, boop, it's going to build layer one right there. That new layer by clicking on it, sorry double clicking, it's going to bring up a new window called the edit layer. I'm going to change the name immediately to uh, blend shape, oh I spelled that wrong, sorry blend shape layer. Just like that and I'm going to say save. You can give it a color if you want to and that will identify it in here. Uh, I'm not going to bother but you can give it any of these colors you want. So I'm going to say save. When I do so it changes the name down here. Now watch what that allows me to do. That allows me to change this from visible to not visible, so I can shut it off without having to go up to say show polygons every single time. I can just simply turn these off. Bam, they're gone. Also, if you want, using the second box right here, what you can do is you can put it in different modes. So let's say I decide to put it in the T mode, and basically what that means is it's transparent. I cannot select it any longer. It's not selectable, uh, and I can see through it. So that can be handy if you are trying to, like, let's say, do something on the uh, on the joints and you want to see them. That's the transparent mode, and the second mode is the uh, R mode, which I believe stands for render. I'm not really sure rendered. And again, can't click it, but you can see it. Okay, so that kind of isolates it, so you can't actually touch them. So you can just play with those, and then nothing is. I can select each one. So we're going to do this for each body part. Let's actually do it for, we'll do it really fast here. Let's do it for each of the legs. Uh, I'm just going to select one leg, boom, new layer. And I'm going to say uh, this is actually my left, um, left leg layer, save. And I'm going to do this for each and every body part. I'm going to do it just for the, just for the mesh for now. We're not going to do it with the controls right now. Just with the mesh. This is the right leg layer. Boom. We'll do it with the body as well. And you could group as much or as little as you want together. You don't have to group it individually like I am. You can say, well, I, I know I only work with the diagonals, work with the body and the arms together, so I'm going to put those together too. This is the body layer. Layer. And I'm just adding the word layer on the end because I can identify it easily that way. Um, later on, in it, if you're looking for this stuff here, will show up actually in some of the different windows, and you want to make sure you can say, oh, that's the layer, not actually the body. Uh, this is the left arm layer. Save, and this will be the, oops, another one. 
This will be the, obviously, right arm layer. Right arm layer. Save. For the head, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to include, I'm going to include the head. I'm going to include the eyebrow mesh, eyebrow mesh, and both of the eyes as well. So you can group select stuff like I've done there. I've selected a whole bunch of stuff, and I'm just going to put that together in one layer. Bam. And I'm going to call this the, I'll call it obviously the head layer and I'm going to save that. So now each one of these things can be shut off individually. You can shut off, you know, the head. Oh, there's a bunch of teeth still in there. And some of those teeth are from Terrace and some of those teeth, I don't longer have the Terrace doll in here. So what's this one here? Upper tooth bar, lower tooth bar. I'm gonna get rid of this one. And upper tooth bar, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Okay, uh, and that should go into a layer as well. And I'm gonna put that directly into the Actually, I think I had a layer already set up, the tooth bar layer. I'm going to set it up right in there. Add selected. OK, there we go. So now uh, the tooth bar is gone, the head is gone, and you can turn these things on or off at will. And that will give you access to different things. OK, pretty easy stuff. We are now starting to clean it up. We have a few more things we have to do to clean up. Uh, I don't know. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to cut off the video right there, and we'll just have the layers in one system. We are going to take a look at, we forgot some stuff in the arm, or we didn't. Actually, I did. <laughs> I forgot some stuff in the arm, so I'm going to add the uh, arm, uh, the arm control. Which what we have to do is we have to be able to um, turn the visibility on and off. Uh, let me show you what I mean. Right now we have our IKFK set up, and I want to be able to switch so that I can either only see, like in this arm right now, I can see all the FK stuff, and I can also see the IK stuff. And I don't want to be able to see both. I want it like this, where when I switch from one to the other. So uh, remember one. Uh, one is IK. I think I actually have it reversed because in the other one I did, I must have done this one backwards, in the other one I did, one was FK. Uh, so you just want to make sure that whichever way it's set up, zero, for example, will turn on the opposite. And one will turn on the other. So make sure that you just get that set up properly so that your IK and your FK are on the appropriate switches. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to do that in one second. I'll be right back for part B.